the next question really for me would be, why is it such a special thing to seek repentance during this holy, blessed month of Ramadan? This month is special because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He forgives His slaves, His servants, the maximum in this month. Therefore, it is given the title Ramadan, the month of forgiveness. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in the Hadith of Tirmidhi, in the Book of Fasting, Hadith number 682, where our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, that when the first night of Ramadan comes, the devils and the demons, they are chained. And the gates of hell are closed. Not even a single gate is open. And the gates of heaven, they are open. Not even a single gate is closed. And the caller, he calls to the people that, oh, those who wanted good, please come. And those who are doing evil, please desist. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he ransoms his slaves, and he does that every night of Ramadan. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad he further said, it's mentioned in a Sahih Hadith of Tirmidhi, Hadith number 3545, where the beloved Prophet Muhammad once he goes on the pulpit before giving a khutbah, and he says, Ameen, 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 thrice. So the people ask, that, oh messenger, why? So the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that, Archangel Gabriel had come to him and said that anyone who does not have his sins forgiven after Ramadan is approached and enters the hellfire, ask Allah to keep a distance from him. And then Gabriel says to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, say Ameen. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Ameen. Means it's unfortunate that anyone witnesses the month of Ramadan and does not have his sins forgiven because this is the month of forgiveness. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, in the Book of Fasting, Hadith number 1901, that if anyone fasts in the complete month of Ramadan with belief and seeking the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all his past sins will be forgiven. That's the reason Ramadan is called as the month of forgiveness. Subhanallah. And Dr. Zakia, we used to have a saying back in the days before I embraced Islam that I wish it could be Christmas every day. And I'm going to say, I wish it could be Ramadan every day now, <laughs> more appropriately.